Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through my Essence personal shopping appointment. The way that I did this video is by splitting it up into two different parts. The first part is gonna be in store. I'm gonna show you everything that I had pulled. And then the second part is gonna be my haul and I'm gonna do a little bit of a try on. Before we begin, I'm gonna ask you to please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really does help my channel grow. I'm thrilled to say that this video is sponsored by Essence and it just so happens that my Montreal trip happened to align with this collaboration. So I was able to book an appointment and get in there and show you guys what the Essence store is about because yes, Essence is an online shopping destination that we all know and love, but it's also a retail front in old Montreal. So I booked my appointment online, which is super easy. You just go to book appointments and then you're able to select everything that you want pulled for your appointment because Essence carries such a vast selection of items from home to women's and men's. Um, they don't carry everything at the store. That's why you have to book your appointment and then they just pull it from the warehouse and have it ready for you. Anyway, I just wanted to explain that to you really fast so that you understand that if you go into the Essence store, you might not necessarily be able to see everything that you're looking at online. So I just felt like that was important. Now let's get into the shopping. So cute. <gasps> Keeper? Yes. <laughs> what kind of fabric is that? Is it a neoprene? Oh, I like this. Diana's getting the wool scarf from Acne, iconic, something that she's going to have for a long time. This gorgeous wool Margiela beanie. And then this Max Mara Weekender jacket um kind of like a neoprene bomber jacket and she's had this on her mind for so long now So this is everything that I've pulled for my Essence appointment today. These are things that have been on my wish list. These are items that I know are filling holes in my closet, but also pieces that are functional or fashionable. For example, white tabby boots. These Le Mer nylon bags are something that have been on my wish list since they got onto the Essence website. And seeing them in person will help me decide whether or not it's something I wanna add into my wardrobe. I also have some more fashion pieces in here like this gorgeous Margiela bustier and this equestrian belt from Le Mer. and then there's just lifestyle stuff like a water bottle this one is humongous I think it's 500 milliliters so, so definitely something I would be using and then I got a bunch of clothes pulled too and I'll walk you through that I've had this Margiela skirt. This is the gathered pencil skirt in my wish list on Farfetch and on Essence. Mm -hmm. There's a denim version, there's a wool version, but this is the denim with the white paint. And if you know Margiela, you know that the white paint is very iconic to the brand. It's something that's at the core of Maison Margiela because Martin Margiela's favorite color is white. We also have this Home Girls blazer. This is an iconic black wool, very classic, timeless piece. It's currently on sale, I wanna say for maybe three something. Could be wrong, the original price is like 700 Canadian. So I was able to pull the extra small and the small, which is excellent. And then this is where my style gets a little crazy. This is a shirt that says tomatoes on it. It's a graphic shirt. I don't know why I'm drawn to this, I just am. And then there's a classic tank with an asymmetrical, um, not hemline, but neckline. This one is from Remain Berger Christensen, which is the same designer that does my coat here. And then these trousers are the gel sew trousers from the Frankie shop. I have these in gray and beige. So I'm gonna try on the black pair. And then we have some Kika Vargas pieces because she's kind of my go-to designer for any evening wear. These are a pair of shorts. And then there's this gorgeous voluminous gown, which I've had my eye on since last year. 
Hi everyone, editing Natalie here. I just wanna let you know that I didn't have a chance to try everything on just because we were pressed for time, but at least I get to show you everything. So there's that, right? And then that's my coat that I came with. So, all right, let's, let's try to decide. There's a lot to go through. <laughs> No, absolutely not. Take them off. Don't even pretend. I'm gonna send you this video. That's funny. She looks like you can tell there's a struggle. That's, that's my shoe socks. Okay. I hate dogs. I can't. I hate them. I hate them. Bye. Okay, so this is the tomato shirt. I didn't realize that it was a little bit more on the oversized, so I'm probably not gonna get it because it's also rather, like it's a rather stiff cotton and even the graphic on it, the print is quite stiff. So it's adding more to the stiffness of the shirt. And what's happening is that it's kind of adding to the bulkiness of the shirt as well. This is the Le Mer, um double equestrian belt, I think it's called. I could be wrong about the name. And I'll make sure that I link that down in the description box, but basically it's kind of like a double belt. I think I did it wrong because I'm kind of in a rush because my friends are waiting, but just wanted to show you what it looks like. And then the pants are the Frankie Shop Gel Sew Trousers. These are the ones that I already have in two different colors. And I just think that it's a great pant. You know, it's, a, it's an all year round kind of trouser too, dressed up, dressed down, and something that I would get a lot of wear of and they're currently on private sale for me so i'm probably gonna end up going home with these and then i'll show you the ohm girls blazer okay so this is the ohm girls blazer this is in a size small or size two i think it says size 40 italian so this is the whole outfit it it actually works i kind of like this t-shirt with this look and then these are the Margiela shoes that I've had on my wish list for some time. These are the slippers, and I think this looks great. We're gonna run through this really quick because we've got a pack. No, we packed. We gotta have breakfast and get our train. And that's kind of the end of our trip, but it's been very good. We've eaten a lot, had a lot of laughs, and we shopped a fair amount. So let's get into this. First thing I got is this Nalgene bottle. This one is from Peace and Quiet. I like that it's 500 mil. My husband has a bottle like this and I really like it. I always try to steal his. So I wanted one of my own and this one was on. 
this one was on sale for a good price and I like that it's lightweight as well. So I always try to carry a water bottle with me. I think it's just a fun bottle. So that's the first thing I got. Okay, so there's quite a bit to go through. So I'm just gonna try to get through this as fast as possible because our room service is gonna be here soon and then we have to get going. So the next thing is um, more ready to wear pieces than it is accessories. And as you can see, there's a lot of black because I love black. I love wearing black for events. I love wearing black, all black in the winter. I just, I love all black. <laughs> so these Kika Varga shorts are taffeta. And what I like is that they've kind of got this like scrunched waist and a drawstring. So it almost feels like this relaxed vibe. However, the taffeta definitely dresses up these shorts and it's kind of like a board short style but it still feels very elevated and dressy it's um it falls on me like just above the knees and it's something that i could wear with a black blazer and a tank to an event and a pair of heels or if i just wanted to be like maybe more low-key i could do a little boot or even like a white dress shirt i know this is something i'm going to be wearing a lot and reaching for with events i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe so typically in events like women are expected to wear certain clothes you know you're expected to wear either a dress or a skirt or something of that nature this is my version of doing things in a dressy way without having to conform to a dress or a skirt so that is why i like these and i think they were maybe 40 or 50 percent off but they they might be sold out at this point but yeah this is i love kika varga so i already have a couple of her tops so this is probably one of my favorite pieces that i picked up next item is from remain and i already have a few pieces from this designer this piece has an asymmetrical hemline which i think is really fun it's also a very soft rib cotton it's a more interesting take on a classic it's actually quite fitted and i wasn't sure if i was going to be very comfortable in a tank like this and then my friends happened to walk into the fitting room and i just kind of ran the tank by them i'm like hey what do you think is this something i could pull off they're like yeah looks great Ended up getting it, looks amazing, layered underneath the blazer. So very happy I got this. And this has been on my wish list. A lot of these pieces, by the way, have been on my wish list for months, for many, many months. Next item I got are these Frankie Shop Gel Soap Pants. I already have these trousers in the gray and in the beige. They have proven to be one of the most worn pieces in my wardrobe. I reach for them in the fall, in the winter, in the summer, spring. I'm basically just wearing these trousers all year round. So I decided the black version is something that I would get plenty of wear from. I got these in a size small and I'm a size 26. I'm very excited about this. The next piece I got is this beautifully tailored blazer from Ohm Girls. It's black wool. It's just iconic. It's something that I'm going to be getting a lot of wear from and something I can wear all year round, dress up, dress down, wear it with dresses, taffeta shorts, uh, skirts, trousers, pretty much everything. I ended up going with a size small instead of an extra small because I wanted a more relaxed fit. And I just think it looks amazing. Like I said, it is a classic piece. I'm gonna have this in my wardrobe for many, many years. And it is so beautifully tailored. I just can't say any more good things about this. This is something that has been on my Pinterest board for months, maybe even a year at this point. I'm sure you can all guess what it is. And I swear that video is coming. <laughs> Normally I get a size 37 in the tabby boots. With these, I ended up getting a 36 and a half just because I knew that my foot was going to reach all the way to the end and I didn't want there to be any, um, like I didn't want the shoe to, to look a little too big on my foot. And I know that the leather on this is extremely soft. It's not a tough leather. So that's why I decided to go for a 36 and a half. Half a size down was the perfect choice because it fits incredible and it looks phenomenal. This is gonna be something I can wear with shorts, skirts, I don't really wear skirts, pants, trousers, jeans, whatever. It's just a good all around shoe. And I will be styling these 
and creating a whole um, tabby shoe video for you. Last item. I think my friends were surprised that this one was on my wish list. What is it? I'll show you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys influenced this. Because we're a Nike family, so she wanted to join. <laughs> <laughs> my besties are heavily into Nike. Michael is currently wearing his Air Force Ones. Diana, what are you wearing? Pandas. Pandas? Okay, I don't speak Nike, I'm sorry. But these are the Air Force Ones. I saw these on Essence and I really like the colorway. They remind me of another shoe that I wanted and it ended up selling out. So I thought this was unique and really speaks to my style. It's yet another white sneaker. You know I love my white sneakers, but this one has the red sole, making it a little bit more unique and that red swoop so these are great because they're a high top they're incredibly comfortable and i can wear them with everything in my wardrobe <laughs> from sweatpants to trousers shorts everything so ended up getting these they were i believe 110 dollars. is that a good price for these? Yeah. yeah yeah that's a ridiculously good okay price. yeah okay i've only ever bought a couple nikes and i ended up selling them so this is this is the other Nike shoe that I currently have in my wardrobe. That was everything from my Essence haul. That's everything that I got. My friend did end up getting a few things herself. Diana, did you want to show them that gorgeous Margiela hat that you picked up? So Diana ended up getting this gorgeous wool Margiela hat, an acne scarf, and Max Mara. This gorgeous Max Mara coat. And I'm sure you saw that I inserted some clips of her trying that on, and it looked amazing on her. Such a good piece. Here you go, friend. Toss. Merci. <laughs> But that's everything for this video. Thank you, Hotel William Gray, for the beautiful stay during our visit to Montreal. Thank you everybody for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video and this content. Give this video a like. A thumbs up. A, <laughs> a like, a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for everything. Bye.